Chapter 13 is about psychological disorders. In particular, this chapter has all of the updated information on disorders according to the newest version of the DSM. Students are really interested in psychological disorders. On the one hand, they're really curious. What is a psychological disorder? What types of disorders are out there? On the other hand, they may have experienced some disorders themselves and also in their friends and family, so they're very interested in understanding more about the disorders. This is another chapter where sometimes students can have some feelings about the topics we're discussing, so we have to be really sensitive about it. I always remind students that we have to have a mature atmosphere in class, but at the same time we have to recognize that they may have some emotions that get stirred up. So I always make sure to give them information about local mental health providers just in case they want someone to talk to if they're feeling any distress. From the student's point of view, it can be really difficult to understand what a psychological disorder is. In fact, they have a lot of preconceived ideas about what psychological disorders are, so it's important for us to work with them to help them understand truly what it means to have disordered thoughts, feelings, and actions. Students can understand these criteria about psychological disorders if you look at the learning tip. This describes all the criteria for psychological disorders, as well as the limitations of each. In addition, the learning tip also gives an example that explains why there's a limitation for that criteria. One of the best and most interesting ways to do assessment for this chapter is through case studies. On the IIG, you'll find several case studies that you can use in a number of ways. For each of these case studies, you can have students work to figure out the symptoms and make a diagnosis for each of the patients. In addition, students can do this work in class in groups or at home so they can complete their answers in verbal or written format so that you, the teacher, can determine whether they're understanding the various disorders.